going to the Department of Motor Vehicles office in Modesto is always the same experience for David Metcalf. Stand in line, get a ticket and sit in a waiting area until his number comes up. He has sometimes wondered why the city has only one DMV office, the one on Bernie Street, despite housing booms over the decades that pushed the population over 200,000. I was here, about 7 a.m., and the line was all the way to James Street, he said. We have extra money in the state coffers. We need to build an office in North Modesto, sorry. The plans are in the offing for a second DMV office in Modesto. But the DMV has added Saturday hours as the Bernie Street location in an effort to ease crowding. The Modesto office was selected as one of 43 in the state with Saturday hours from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The extended hours debuted in Modesto on June 16 and continue this Saturday and then the first and third Saturday each month starting in July. Appointments can be scheduled for Saturday. No driving exams are held, but all other services are available, DM, he said. Tracy also has Saturday hours. The Turlock and Manteca offices remain closed on weekends. People in line Friday said a visit to the Modesto office often takes half a day. Wes Reynolds expected it would take three hours to order personalized plates for a dune buggy, he restored. Metcalf said Saturday hours should help reduce the crowding. He suggested that machines at the DM, the office for handling routine business, such as a change of address, could shrink the lines more. Visit times at the Department of Motor Vehicles are topping five hours, and unwary motorists find themselves spending entire mornings or afternoons trapped in crowded field offices. So, why are lines so long? The DMV has struggled to roll out some major changes this year. The state began issuing federally mandated real ID cards, which is bringing thousands more people to field offices. The real ID cards are driver's licenses that will serve as identification at federal airport security checkpoints for domestic flights starting in October 2020. The DMV also changed its numbered, queuing, system for motorists waiting at field offices, but the new system confused some employees, lengthening waits. Employees in some offices are being retrained. For those who must deal with the DMV soon, here are some tips to minimize hassles. But, really, stay away if you are doing a transaction that can be handled online or via mail, don't come into the office. Here is the DMV link to what services you can do online. An early appointment trick DMV asks everyone to make an appointment before going to a field office. DMV officials last week said they've cleared up most of their new numbered queuing system issues and have brought more employees on board, so wait times for people with appointments should be shortening. Drivers can sign up on the DMV website appointment page. You also can call the DMV's 800-777-0133 number. The wait time on a recent Friday for an operator was two hours. The DMV suggests you leave your phone number and they will call back. They also tell drivers not to wait for a renewal notice in the mail. Instead, make an appointment 90 days in advance of your birthday or registration month. What days not to show up the last day of each month is typically crowded. People are rushing to get registration tags. Also, don't go the day after a holiday or the first day of the month. Best day of the week is usually Wednesday. But field offices don't open on Wednesdays until 9 a.m., one hour later than usual. Field offices open on Saturdays may have shorter lines. Try showing up late if you show up at a field office before 5 p.m. Without an appointment, they will not turn you away when the doors close at 5. That means field offices are doing evening hours. There is no knowing, however, how long you will have to wait. The last appointment time each day is 4 p.m. Go digital fingers crossed, the DMV soon will allow people to fill out their driver's license applications online at home or on their tablet or smartphone, then hit the send button to file them electronically with the DMV.
you still will have to come into the office to finalize some transactions, but the new technology should reduce wait times. Self-service The DMV is installing self-service computer terminals in many offices, including at the Modesto location, allowing drivers to get registration done or to file for planned non-operation on a vehicle. DMV plans on expanding services at the terminals in the future. Real ID cards If you want a real ID card, you have to go to a field office. However, some people are showing up without proper documents. You can get the document checklist on the DMV's Real ID website pages. One Real ID rule is proving tricky, if your married name is different from your birth certificate or social security card, you probably need to bring your marriage license in to show you had a name change. But here's a shortcut, your US passport with your current name qualifies in place of a marriage certificate. In fact, if you have a passport, you can skip the whole real ID process if you want. The passport works as official ID at federal checkpoints for domestic flights and will continue to be valid after October 2020, when regular driver's licenses will no longer be valid at airport checkpoints. Buying a car If you buy a car from someone, you have 30 days, not 10, to go to a DMV office to sign over ownership of the car, DMV official said. That's become more important now that appointments are hard to get in the near term. The Sacramento Bee contributed to this report.